So this one um, we're listening into is a call that was made by Talon. She is a 26-year-old heavily pregnant woman. She's 38 weeks pregnant from St. Mary's. She went into labour in the shower. I believe she fell over and then called them. So she would have felt the pain and thought, "Uh uh-oh. So do you want to hear the call? Yes, please. Do it. Here it is. Ambulance emergency. What town or suburb, please? Um, St. Mary's, New South Wales. And tell me exactly what's happened. I'm 38 weeks pregnant and I'm trying to get out of the shower. How many um, weeks pregnant? 38. Okay. Why can't you get out of the shower? I'm having really strong contractions and I Is can't not breathe. Strong enough to get out of there? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Is anyone home with you? No. Okay. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay. Alright, I'm organising help for you right now, okay? Can you see, feel, or touch any part of the baby now? Um, I can't see anything, but it feels like my head is right. You're definitely having contractions. Is this this your first delivery? It's my second. Okay, is there any serious bleeding? Yeah, I'm bleeding. Okay, is it a lot of blood? Considering. Okay. Have your waters broken? Um, I don't know. All right, help us be organised, okay? I want you to stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Don't try and prevent the birth. Don't try and go to the toilet or anything like that at this point, okay? You need to just try and get into the most comfortable position you can in that shower and just, if you can, take nice, deep breaths between the contractions, okay? Um, Is there anybody else there with you at all? No, and no other child either? Okay, you having a contraction right now? Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to tell me when that one finishes, okay, and when the next one starts. I'm going to stand the line with you until help arrives, okay? I need to push. You feel like you need to push now? Okay. Can you get out of the shower or not? At least down onto the ground? Can you get onto the ground in the shower? Pardon? I'm on the ground in the shower. Okay, okay. I want you to reach down between your legs if you can and feel your vagina carefully. Can you feel any part of the baby coming out yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. So the, the music... Contraction stopped. Pardon? The contraction stopped. Okay, okay. So you remember that from your last child. Remember you sometimes between the contractions you have that lull? I don't know if you're able to get out of the shower now and just onto the floor or in the most comfortable position and just continue with the next contraction to take nice deep breaths. And then I want you to reach between your legs again, feel your vagina carefully, see if you can feel any part of the baby, okay? Next contraction? Next contraction? Okay, okay. Are you pushing? Yeah. They're not far. They're not far, okay? Just keep taking nice deep breaths between the contractions, okay? You're doing really well. They're going to be there really soon. Is your front door unlocked? No. No, is there any way of them getting in because they're almost there, like they're going to be there any second? Through the window. To the window. What window do you think? The front, front window. Next to the front door. Are you pushing, sweetheart? Are you pushing? Yeah. Okay. Can you feel any part of the baby coming out yet? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> They're inside? Are they there next to you? Okay, I'll let you go, sweetheart. Good luck. Oh, hang on. I wanted to hear the baby scream. Oh, no. So oh, my God. We have wow. Talon on the phone because we have questions. Talon. Talon, good morning. Good morning. Oh, there's oh, the there's baby. baby. <laughs> right on cue. Fantastic. Oh, Talon. Talon so what wow. happened then? Um, so after that, the paramedics jumped over the back fence because they couldn't get through the window. And yeah. then they came through the back door. The back door was open and... Yeah, I had um, two contractions and then the baby was out. Oh, my God. So they arrived my just God. in the nick of time wow. and the baby was fine, happy, healthy. 
Yeah, happy, healthy. They took me to the hospital after that, and then um, I ended up out the same day. How nice was that oh. triple O operator? She was so calm Wasn't and she? sweet. She per- was. The perfect voice yeah. Yeah. when you're in that position. Like, well, God, God bless her. She definitely deserves a pay raise. Now well, we've got her on the phone now, that calming voice. Hello, <laughs> Samantha. Samantha, hi. Hello. Wow. Oh, you, you were, were amazing. Perfect. I was emotional listening to that. I was emotional <laughs> listening to that. I can't imagine what it's like for the both of you because that was incredible. You uh, you have to remain so calm when you take these calls, Samantha. What goes through your mind? Are you sort of panicked inside? I Look, something like that with a childbirth, I feel fairly confident because I've had a few kids myself. So oh, Yeah. So with that, I feel confident, but I was I was nervous for her because she was on her own. Really, um, yeah, you know, I, I I kind of had to sort of steer a little bit away from what we would normally say because those instructions about, you know, um, feel down and touch your vagina, you would normally be saying that to somebody else to yeah. get somebody else to sort of help and be ready to ease the baby out, and yeah. she didn't have that person, so I was probably, you know, I was on the edge of my seat hoping that the paramedics are going to arrive pretty quickly. And Samantha, do you get a follow-up from the paramedics to say, you know, it was all fine? Or do you just move on to the next call? No, you just move on to the next call, to be yeah. perfectly well, you honest. S- you spend yeah, the rest of I your mean, days wondering what happened to that girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can go you can go back and have a look at the job and I, I would have been able to have a look and see that she actually gave birth at home and, you know, and she was safe and everything and got to the hospital and all that sort of thing. But generally, you kind of just take one call, hang up and then bang, straight away you get another one. So wow, that's quite, a, a, it's quite amazing to hear Are someone do, do yeah. what you do. Are they always that intense your calls um well a childbirth is a really one actually that's a really positive and and lovely experience so and most of them are probably more intense than that as far as um you know not enjoyable and and stressful yeah Yeah, that's amazing i think it's amazing the one that everyone wants to kind of get because it's kind of exciting and yeah you you may be helping to bring a life into the world rather than yeah, having something to. horrible. Talon, do you want to say anything to Samantha while you've got her on the phone here? Oh, she's just awesome at her job. I just want to say thank you. How thank good you for is your she? help. Like, I've been on the oh. phone before telling women to touch their vagina as well, but never <laughs> under those circumstances. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a remarkable job that, uh, that you operators do. And uh, as you said, some of them are stressful, mm. some are more stressful, very serious circumstance. You really kept you cool there. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, a, you do a great job. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to get the appreciation. It's it's kind of a thankless job, but um, you, you know, when you're in that moment, you don't sort of you don't have an expectation of that anyway. But yeah, to have this opportunity and you know to be able to hear it again and for other people to be able to hear what happens and what we do, it's really. That's a great thing. Well, you're yeah, a hero, really Samantha. Talon, uh, your baby's now five months old, happy, healthy. Oh. What a wonderful result. That is a nice one. Yeah. No, I couldn't have asked for anything more. What did you I have? A boy. Coming? A little boy. A boy. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, happy awesome. ending. There you go. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And on Wednesday, we're going to hear a call where some grandkids end up saving their pop from a cardiac arrest. Oh, Jackie, you're really digging through them, aren't you? <laughs> Jackie gets off on, this is how she spends her weekends, <laughs> listening to Triple O calls. Thank you, ladies. Nice <laughs> Thanks, to meet you both. You're well, well done. Okay. Yeah, Thank you.